talk a little bit today about when is the soil fit for tillage and you got to go back first to what tillage are you going to do is it horizontal tillage soil finisher field cultivator disc or is it vertical tillage or is it high speed disc what kind of tillage are you doing first thing we worry about is wheel tracks today out here in the field that we're in uh, as far as vertical tillage goes this would till pretty nice just worry about whether the ground is dry enough to handle the wheel tracks of the tractor so you don't end up with wheel tracks out there. But if we're gonna come out here and do horizontal tillage down about four inches, we need to get down there about an inch below where that tillage is gonna be and bring that soil up and see if we can ball it up in our hand, get it balled up and then see if it'll ribbon. And you can see this was gonna ribbon off of my finger. Uh, this is gonna put in a compaction layer. So if I work this with a soil finisher today, I'm gonna to have more than a density change, I'm gonna have a compaction layer. If I work it with vertical tillage, um, I'm not gonna have a layer because I'm gonna stay up here in this dry soil, but I do have to make sure that underneath, I'm not gonna deal with the wheel track. And we're close. Uh, if you had a lot of flotation today, this could be leveled in a vertical format without too much trouble. If you had a lot of weight and you didn't have flotation on the tractor, yeah, on the low ground here, you could probably put in some wheel tracks. The challenge you get is, will it dry out in time for you to plant in the window you want? And that's always a challenge with soil like this, is to get it dry enough that you can work it in the spring to stay on time with the planter and still not end up with compaction issues. The smoother you leave it in the fall, the easier that is to do it in the spring.